to the channel so i know i missed a week and i'm so sorry but i'm back again we had family visiting but this week i'm going to be talking about what is in nala's diaper bag so you guys we purchased before i think even before i was pregnant because if you guys have been following our channel we were trying since november of the previous year before we actually got pregnant so we were preparing and buying stuff before then so i saw this diaper bag i don't know where and um i fell in love with it um we chose this because it has the backpack so it's olivia is not the type to have like a purse and like a handbag so this was really good because she could put it on her back or it has a shoulder strap um it's a really neutral color i love nudes blacks earth tones and stuff like that so it was a really neutral color and it had a lot of space so we got the petunia pickle bottom backpack um and i will link it down below so this is it i love it they actually have a black matte one that i really really want babe hint, hint. you guys my wife and all is over here so if you guys hear noise she is playing with her toys um but um look, babe do you know where i saw this diaper bag and fell in love oh she said bye bye baby that's one of our favorite stores and but i feel like it was new i feel like they didn't have i think i saw it online i don't know she says bye bye baby i guess that's where it's at but they just came out recently like the last few months with a black matte one so that's which one I, that's what i want um i love this diaper bag the only thing is like it has like these little rivets on the bottom but i feel like when you put it down it can get dirty a little bit easy and so i feel like um well COVID right now we're not traveling or anything like that so it's not as dirty but I feel like if you're out and about once COVID is gone and we start traveling and stuff I feel like this color can get really dirty easily but we will keep this as a backup bag but I just feel like the black I love all things black anyway and then as you guys can see it has like the gold hardware and stuff like that so um I just feel like it hides things better and it's two of my favorite colors black and gold so this is the bag it has a pocket and I'm gonna go through it with you guys um, it has backpack straps as I said but it also has the shoulder strap so I'm gonna be going through the bag with you guys on what is in it okay you guys so this is the bag so um, in this side you have a pocket you have a little pocket back here you have your shoulder strap you have your backpack straps and then you have a pocket here so I'm going to take you through the pocket. So on this side, we keep a bottle and we keep a travel cap. So um, we had the four ounce bottles when she was smaller, but as she grew, of course, she takes six ounces. And then this is if we need to make a bottle, we just put the cap on and shake it up, which I'll show you in a second. And here we keep poopy bags. These are actually dog bags. They have some especially made for babies by like Munchkin and other brands. But um, when the dogs passed away, we had a bunch of these um, and we didn't want them to go to waste. And so it's if she's in the car and has a poopy diaper or even a pee diaper to keep the smell um, from not all in the car. And of course, hand sanitizer, of course that's in here and the pockets are pretty deep like I said it holds a, a bottle and stuff like that so the pockets are deep enough um, back here is like a parent's pocket as they call it so it's not really deep in here which is the only like I guess flaw of the bag I would say um, because like I can fit my keys in here but like I can't fit my keys my wallet like it literally stops like right there so it's really shallow so I wish they had a bigger parents pocket but some people use the pockets on the side but for us I like to maximize the space for Nala so then you flip the bag over and you have your very front part of the bag so what I love about this bag is that um, it also comes with a little pouch which I'll show you guys if I have it um, and the bag is under $200 um, but I feel like you get a lot of room in here so you can fold this down um, and in here we keep, this is from Skip Hop. So it is a little pacifier carrying case. We keep two pacifiers in here as a backup, just in case, um, you know, and to keep them safe and sanitized and stuff. And so we have a bow in here. Didn't know what that was. So in here, this is a detachable changing cover. 
so she's too big for it now but um we also have one like travel one in our car but for some reason like if she had a poopy diaper and that one gets poop on it which i'll show you where i put that then i have this one as a backup so this is a detachable one but it also fits really really nicely back in here which i love um, for travel purposes because pre-COVID we love to travel and we'll be taking her with us so that is great. In here, big pocket, we keep a big size, a regular size thing of wipes. We don't keep the travel wipes just because I feel like they're a waste of time and um, I just want to be prepared. So we always keep a regular size pack. So this is a 56 count of wipes. And then I keep four or five diapers in here and then we also keep a travel size one of the pack of diapers in the trunk of our car as well just in case like we're out somewhere with family or something like that or let's say we're running errands and we're gone longer because she pees like every 45 minutes to an hour then if these run out we have some in the trunk of our car so I love that this has a storage pocket and some people store more than this when she was little um, just to be on the safe side we stored like her um, diaper rash cream and stuff in here as well because this is like the diapering section um, but we, we don't use it anymore because she not really had that issue so that's this front pocket and then you open it up this is huge pocket in here it's super super deep and shallow uh not shallow but super super deep and fits a lot of stuff so i'm going to show you guys what all that we have in here so first things up we have this travel thing for her formula so um I saw, which I will insert a picture to the side, um, the normal like thing for formula was like the little round thing that had the um, formula pockets you could just dump out. But when we had that, I found that when you open it and you put the formula in, formula from the other divider part spills over. So I was like, I don't like that. So I found this, which I'll link below, um, but it's really, really neat. It has five um, sections and they're detachable. So as you use them, you can take them off and wash them. Um, but it has this really cute cap. And if you're on the go, you just literally take the cap off, pour it in and use your cap, which I'll show you guys in a second. So we have that in here. We have, as she's older now, she has snacks, so it's time to almost refill this. But um, when she's out or whatever, just give her some snacks. And um, it has a handle so she can play with it, but the cap is kind of difficult to get off. And um, it's just a cute little snack carrier. And then in here, in the back pocket, we have a wet bag. So this is for if she's in the car. We have two of them, but this is for if she has a blowout in the car and she poops all on herself or her clothes. We just completely undress her, which I'll show you. We have outfits in here and um, the like poopy stuff or wet stuff goes in here. People have said they also use this for like if their kids go swimming or something like that or get like just water, or, like wet, anything wet on them and their clothes are soggy, they can put it in here. And then um, when I get home, I take the stuff out and wash it. So that is so helpful. And Nala has been known to do that. And it's funny because she normally has a blowout in the car. Like we'll change her right before we leave. And then for some reason, she likes to poop in the car. So we also have back here in this back pocket. It's a really, really deep pocket back there. Um, it's a portable fan. I will link it down below. We found it on Amazon because she's really hot natured and it has like really, really good speed. It's not working because it's dead, but um, I keep the charger, of course. Um, and like I know if we're going somewhere and it's going to be hot, I keep in charge. But this has a really, really, really good, it has like a low, medium, and high. It's an awesome fan, super inexpensive from, um, from Amazon. So that's amazing. And then in here, so I'm going to show you guys. So we have this big thing I'm going to save for last. Right now, because it's winter, we have these little hats that we got. Look. Some of her stuff spilled because she got to her snacks. So she has a little beanie hat. We got like a four or five pack off Amazon, which I will link below. She doesn't like stuff on her head, but we keep it just in case it's super cold. Doesn't get really, really cold here in Alabama like that though. And then we also have in here on one side, so the, the cosmetic bag is in the middle. It's like a divider. But we keep a bottle of water. We just went somewhere yesterday and we had to use this, but normally we keep a full bottle of water. And we keep another bottle inside in case we are gone longer than expected. So what happens when she gets hungry um, is either bottle we'll use. We take the bottle, 
24 six ounces of water and I'm gonna show you guys um, we also have another bag sometimes we heat the bottle up for her sometimes we don't and once the water is in we take the cap off and this is enough so this is three scoops of her formula which is equivalent for six ounces of water put that in there we take her cap screw it on shake it shake it shake it shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it really good trying to make sure it's all you know not formula e you know with like all the powder and then shake 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 and put it back on and the bottle is served um and so that's what we do and then once we get back home we swap out the bottles and wash and sterilize them so on this side there's two pockets on the inside which i'm going to show you guys we keep these little sunglasses i think we got these from amazon or bye bye baby um i will try and link them down below but they're super super cute and um good for um you know protecting the baby's eyes so they're flexible durable light material polarized blocks you know all the bad rays and stuff like that but they're so cute you guys and so i keep these in here um, if the sun's shining on her eyes and her canopy on her car seat doesn't really block it, then I'll put these on her. They're really handy to have. And then also in this pocket, we, we keep two pairs of socks just in case. She doesn't, she likes being barefoot, but when we're out, we try to keep um, stuff on her. So keep two pairs of socks. And then on this side, so we keep outfits because as I said, she's known to poop. So we keep a long sleeve onesie. I keep a hoodie for her. I keep a pair of joggers just in case. And I try to make it match. So as you see, the hoodie does not match, but like this would. Um, and then I also keep another pair of pants just in case. And then a short sleeve onesie. These don't match. I thought I changed it, but I have to put a white one white short sleeve onesie in there to match these pants the um green pants they have this stripe on them but um i normally like i said i keep two pairs of pants i keep a short sleeve onesie and a long sleeve onesie and a hoodie just in case because you never know what can happen and then lastly on this side there's another pocket I keep two burp cloths so it's just you know she's eating or whatever she spills something I keep two burp cloths on that side and so I'm going to show you guys the inside of the bag there's two more pockets in here um, I don't keep anything in it but let me take it inside so I don't know if you guys can see but there's a huge pocket back here there's a pocket over here it's really deep another pocket over here which is really deep and then there's two pockets in the front right here so super 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 spacious and this is how the front looks um and a better view of the side but it's a lot of space in here and so um i just feel like you have to try and maximize as much space as you can get and so that's my goal because you know um you don't know like what's gonna happen if you're out or something like that and you know there's unforeseen circumstances or anything like that like we've had friends uh, well a friend because now has not stayed with many people um, but they were like just based off of her diaper bag alone she would be good for like hours over here um, just because it's like if they want to take her for a walk she has her you know baby sunglasses um, you're also gonna see in her cosmetic bag she has like other stuff in there so it's just really good to have I feel like it's just always never too bad to prepare so last but not least we have our cosmetic bag so I found this at Target which I will link below and I wanted it actually smaller but it was a good mistake gone wrong because it fits everything perfectly and I feel like I need a bigger one but um, so in this front pocket we have little boogie wipes we've never used these before but i just saw like on a thing that they said that it was good to have for babies so i keep this just in case um for like boogie smooth tender noses with natural saline but we've never had to use these yet but i keep them just in case and then on the inside this is like for all things health wellness and stuff for her so it's not just like strewn out 
Um, so we have a thing. I think my sister-in-law bought this. So it is like a little kit from Amazon. I can't link it below because I don't know where she got this from. But it has like some scissors. It has a nail file. Um, like these little tongs. I don't really know what they're for. We've literally never used this. But we just have it just in case. Um, a nail clip. So it's really cute to have because sometimes our nails do need to be cut. We've never had to cut them on the go, but this will be good to have just in case. I'm all about just in case stuff. So we have her little baby Frida nose, Frida. This is like, we live by this. I'm gonna do a six month, zero to six month, or like zero to, she's 10 months now, but like a must have for when she was younger. We live by this. So we keep, we have one here in her room. We have one on the go because we've had to use it on the go. We have to-go Q-tips, of course. We have her Onish diaper rash cream. This is the, well, aside from Aquaphor, this is like the only actual diaper rash cream we've used. And it worked really well. She had like, we had to use this a few times when she was young, like small, small, but she's not used diaper rash cream oh, since she was like two or three months. So, uh, but we just keep it just in case because we, you know, you never know. We have, um, Travel tissues, just Kleenex, just in case. We have a travel size of Vino. These are the hand and face wipes for baby sensitive skin. Nala has really sensitive skin, so we try and make sure everything is like water-based, less ingredients, um, kind of just like really organic and clean for her skin. Um, and it's pediatrician recommended, and we have the bigger size of these in her room, and we love them. They work really good on her skin, so we got the travel size for her. We have a little comb, which she's starting to get into because her hair is getting really thick now. We have a pretty nice size. It is a three ounce of um, sunblock. So we had this since she was born, but her doctor says she couldn't use it until she was six months old. So now we try and make sure that when she's going out, if it's sunny or bright, she has it. She's also a fairer complexion than both Olivia and I, um, but we just love this. SPF 50 um, is sweat and water resistance. It says it's naturally sourced for a sensitive skin again. So I will link this down below and um, she's not had any adverse reactions from it. And one thing that I loved when I saw the reviews was it said that um, like it didn't leave that white cast that can like be left after you put sunscreen on. And it's tear free, which is really good. You don't want it to mess anything up with their eyes and it's hypoallergenic. So we love this. And we also have the travel size ones as well underneath her sink. And then, so all this stuff. We have a little baby bum brush. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, you guys. Um, we have the big one, the regular size one in her room, but this is in case we need to use her diaper rash cream. You put the cream on and you literally like rub that on their little booty. It's The little thing is so cute. I saw this and was just like, we have to have it. It's so cute. And then of course we have our thermometer and I love this. I think it came, yes, this came in a kit, the safety first kit. Um, but I love that it has on here because as a new mom, I didn't know I was ignorant and thought that the baby's temp higher is what a fever to adults is, is a fever to babies. And that's not true. So a fever to babies rectally is 100.4 orally is 99.6 and underarm is 98.6. But our doctor said to get the most accurate um, temperature, um, you do do it through their butt and I did not like that um when she was born because I just feel like that is very evasive but I see when you try and use it and put it under their tongue to keep it they don't like it so they're just like blah, 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 and just moving their tongue around and then under the arm she moves too much so we have to take our temperature um it is rectally and I will link these little things below um you put it it's like a a thermometer cap so you don't have to keep sterilizing this and cleaning it all the time um it's like what you see at the hospital or like at a doctor's office and you just literally put it on and it's like a little sleeve so you just take it off and then it's it's good to go but i still clean it off afterwards anyway in here i have a travel size of aquaphor of hydrocrotazone and vaseline 
So I have the acrotazone because Nala has super sensitive skin and we think that she may have eczema and so our doctor recommended for a natural remedy put the hydrocortisone on first then on top of that put aquaphor and it's really helped but we also have a ointment called tummy Todd that has worked wonders but if we run out of that this is our go-to so I have this on the go in case she's staying with somebody and they need to use this um this remedy and then we have in here we have the um infants tylenol and i am working on a fact sheet or like a contact emergency sheet so that whoever keeps her in the future like they'll know exactly how much to give her but we have a large size of that we also have gripe water so that's just in case you know she um gets the hiccups i think you can use this for yeah hiccups fussiness gas or colic or anything like that she uses heavily when she was a baby because she would get hiccups after she ate um especially if she didn't burp correctly uh, but we never gave it to her for fussiness or um colic or um really gas because she had gas drops when she was little so um but this is just good to have on hand just in case it really works well and then of course we have the um the syringes so this one is for the gripe water this is for the tylenol it also says it on the back um the tylenol this one doesn't so i hope someone would assume that you know this is for tylenol this is for the gripe water but you know you never know but that's all for her diaper bag you guys if you guys have any questions or anything um put them down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i love you guys so much and i'm coming back with more content love you